back. So we are going to discuss the last model of problems from throughput accounting. So in the given question, they have given you certain data, that is they have given you certain information regarding the expenses of a company, the output, the sales of the company. And then what they ask you to do is, they ask you to prepare income statement using both methods, that is using absorption costing prepare the statement and using throughput accounting. Okay, so now what we are going to do is, we are going to prepare the income statement using absorption costing. Okay, so we will start with sales. Sales, what we have is, sales given is 90,000 per unit is 80, isn't it? 90,000 into 80, you will get 72 lakhs. To that, at cost of goods, that is opening stock of goods, opening cost of opening stock of goods. So if you have, you have to add that. But in the question, it is not given. Okay, so you don't have. So when you just add everything, you will get 72 lakhs. This will be your sales. Clear. From sales, you have to deduct the manufacturing cost of goods sold. Okay. So what the first thing you have is direct material. Direct material is given as per unit is given as 50. So your output is 1 lakh. Is that it? 1 lakh into 50, you will get the cost of direct materials. Direct materials 15 into 1 lakh. Okay. So you will get 15 lakhs. Next step. The next thing what you have is direct labor cost. It is given as 4 lakhs. Direct labor cost given as 4 lakhs. Next given variable overhead. Variable overhead. 6 lakhs is given in the amount. Next is given as fixed manufacturing overhead. 20 lakhs. Fixed Manufacturing overhead given as 20 lakhs. Okay. So add everything you will get 45 lakhs. So this is your manufacturing cost. But you have to find out manufacturing cost of goods sold. That is the second step. From manufacturing cost if you detect the cost of Closing stock. Okay, you will get the manufacturing cost of goods sold. So the cost of closing stock is the manufacturing cost of what you got is 45 lakhs, isn't it? 45 lakhs into how much is the closing stock left? Because your sales is 90,000, but your output is 1 lakh. So 1 lakh minus 90,000 is 10,000 is available as your stock, isn't it? So your output is 1 lakh. Your sales is 90,000. You have 10,000 units as your stock. So 45 lakhs into 10,000 by actual output is 1 lakh, isn't it? So you will do, you will substitute, you will get the cost of closing stock. That is 4 lakh 50,000. So when you subtract 45 lakhs from 4 lakh 50 thousand, you are going to get 40 lakhs 50 thousand. This will be your cost of goods sold. Okay, cost of goods sold in the sense manufacturing cost of goods sold. Clear? So this will be your second one. So you have sales, you have manufacturing cost. So from the sales, if you deduct 1 minus 2, you are going to get gross profit. Okay, that is sales minus gross sorry, cost of goods sold. 72 minus 40 lakh 50,000. You are going to get 31 lakhs 50,000. Okay, and from the gross profit, you have to deduct administration and Selling expenses. Okay. So, 
administration expenses it is given variable administration and selling overheads 10 isn't it how much is your sales 90,000 so 10 into 90,000 will be 10 into 90,000 will be your variable and administration expenses that is 9 lakhs okay from that, you have fixed administration and selling expenses. So, variable you got. Next is fixed is 10 lakhs directly given in the question. Okay. So, the total of this is 90 lakhs is your administration and selling expenses. Okay. So, from the cross profit, if you deduct the administration and selling expenses, the total what you get is known as operating profit. How will you find operating profit? From the gross profit, deduct administration and selling expenses. That is 31,50,000 minus 19 lakh. If you do, you will get 12,50,000. So, this is income statement under operating costing. So, from sales, opening stock cost you have to add. Then you then the amount you got what you get is sales. From that you have to deduct the manufacturing cost of goods sold, and then you will get gross profit if you will subtract sales minus gross profit. From gross profit you have to subtract the administrating and selling expenses. You will get operating profit. So this is the pro forma as well as the way of solving the problem under absorption costing. So now we we'll calculate. The operating profit under throughput accounting. So, we have calculated operating profit under absorption costing, isn't it? Now, we are going to start calculating under throughput accounting. So, first we have to start with the sales. Sales given us 90,000 units at 80 per unit, isn't it? 90,000 into 80, that is 72 lakhs. To this, you have to add cost of opening stock. Okay. It is not given in the question so leave it. So the total will be your sales. Okay. From this you have to deduct direct material cost because in throughput accounting only direct material is considered as variable cost. So, from sales, you have to deduct direct materials. So, from sales, if you deduct direct materials, given the question is 15 and the output is 1 lakh. So, it will be 15 lakhs. Okay. And to get the direct material, this is your direct materials, isn't it? For To get the direct material cost, you have to deduct the cost of Closing stock. Okay. So your stock is 10,000 units are remaining. Isn't it? Your actual output is 1 lakh. Sales is 90,000. Then 10,000 units is left as a stock. Isn't it? So 10,000 into material cost is 50. So 15,000. So 1 lakh 50,000. So, 15 lakh minus 1 lakh 50,000 is 13 lakh 50,000. So, what you have to do is from sales, you have to deduct the direct material cost. This is your direct material cost. Option number 2. So, from sales, if you deduct the direct material cost, you will get throughput contribution. Okay. Sales minus direct material. 72 lakhs minus 13 lakhs. 50,000. Okay. If you do, you are going to get the answer as 58 lakhs. 50,000. Okay. And from this, you have to deduct all other operating cost. What are the operating cost? Direct material, direct labor, 4 lakhs. Direct labor, 4 lakhs. Next, variable manufacturing overhead, 
variable manufacturing overhead given is 6 lakhs. Next fixed manufacturing overhead 20 lakhs. Next variable administration selling overhead 10 per unit. So you have 90. So 90 into 10. So variable and selling overhead. Okay, 10 into 90,000, that is 9 lakhs. Next, fixed administration and selling expenses given as 10 lakhs. So, total it, you will get 49 lakhs. So, from throughput contribution, that is from 58 lakhs, 50,000, if you deduct the 49 lakhs, you are going to get 9,50,000. This will be your operating profit. Clear? So the operating profit under throughput accounting is 9,50,000. And the operating profit under absorption costing what you get what is 12,50,000. So what can you observe? So it is clearly seen that there is no differences in the way you are taking your cost. But this difference in operating cost is only due to the treatment of closing stock. So there, from the manufacturing cost, you have treated your closing stock. Here, from the remaining outputs, you are treating your closing stock. Isn't it? So only difference in operating cost is generally because of closing stock. Other than that, there is no difference between throughput accounting as well as absorption costing. So this is regarding the problem. Thank you.